tricycle. Mom and Angel are in the front. We're at the back. And we're saying that this is the heaviest it's ever going to carry people. <laughs> We're in like farmland. We're walking to the what? Forest. For, no, forest. <laughs> We're walking to a spring well shower grotto where they say it's clean, fresh water. This is a really a spring well. <laughs> we made it to a pump hose from underground. And we're gonna watch 10 men shower in that one boat. See if the light up. Oh, That's God. so white. That's so, so weird. The other men are waiting. It's called. Faster, baby. It's a lineup. This is the ranch. We only have four cows and a bunch of chickens. And mother's over there talking. We are going to farm field slash lake to catch some fishes today. We've been in the car for like pretty much half of our trip. So we decide traveling this time will be on foot. We're gonna walk this time five kilometers to the river. To the river. Hello. Oh, looks what like they want that? to uh, pick something. Oh, they're gonna climb it. What is it though? Oh, I see some fruits. Don't know what kind of fruit this is. It looks edible from the tree. Say corn beef. Corn beef right here. What we ate yesterday. Hi Lulu. Staring right at me. So I decided to put myself under the umbrella because Karen said the heat is pretty. All right, she just warned me about some poo. Those are massive poo dung. Anyway, yeah, I decided to go under the umbrella because the sun rays is quite strong here. I like these umbrellas. There's like a a silver lining on the inside that shields the uh, the rays. Um, I'm sure other other umbrellas have that, but I don't know. It just looks cool. I'm just walking through the farm right now, going through multiple farm fields. Oh yeah, so this morning we saw a pig kill um, because there's a fiesta coming soon. That they want to cook uh, a large meal. i never seen one killed before, but wanted to. Um, didn't know how it would be, didn't know what to expect, but I kept an open mind in the end. Of course, this is the ways that they do it. It's old school, that's how they live here, how they cook meals here. First time experience for everything. Look at all this open farmland. Walking on open field, and we have quite a distance to go. I'm assuming we're going all the way down there. Yeah, sounds about right. All the way down there. As you can see right now, behind me, oh, you can see it is hot right now, and we're in open field, so there's no shade. Aside from my umbrella, my handy umbrella. Definitely an interesting trail to walk through. It's like a workout on your legs, but dirty air. It's all good. So we totally uh, rerouted to this location. We're gonna do some fishing here, I'm assuming, just because I see the net. Oh, fish, oh, sorry. Where the fish? Oh, yeah, I see. See a nice catch. Looks good. They like to be in the branches, so they're, they're removing it and then the fish, it's easier to grab with the net. So they're gonna pull the net in? Yeah, because yeah. it's like a habitat for them with the branches. No, the oh, fish okay. is just gonna go to the net, towards the net, because they're trying to swim out. Oh, like, mm -hmm. And then they're just gonna pull it in. It 
Um, the things already around it. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna put the branches back after they're done, so then. Oh, so they have more. Again. That makes sense. Dad and his element. Fishing. <laughs> farming style. <laughs> it's like waking a lot. It's a big one. And a puny one. So, what I just found out is this used to be a lake. I don't know how long ago, but as you can see, the, uh, the outline of a, a lake. Water is a little scarce here. It's still good land. In this case, fishing. So we're gonna head out right now. Well, they're so far. Hello. How was your experience? It was amazing. We get to watch them fish for little crabs and little like fish to lock up and jumping shrimp. Apparently they eat it raw. Their dad ate a, what is a soft dad shell. Dad just ate a soft, showed it to us. And then he ate it in his mouth. Soft shell crab. Now we're walking a 5k walk back home. Mm -hmm. This time in the street. I'm about to smell something that Kieran has brought me. Alright, let's go. Hey, what does that smell like? Does that smell again? What does that smell like? What does that smell again? It smells nice. What does that smell? What does it smell? Wait. Like lemongrass. Yay! Yeah. High five! You're so smart. We are in Vegan, capital of Luxor. What I've been told is this is a Spanish influence city, aside from the uh, McDonald's around here. So we're going through the market area. And they have like street food. They have some street food, which I don't mind trying afterwards. Someone's getting married. Someone's getting married here? Yeah. Whoa. The church. Oh, but we're going to go to the bell tower. And the bell tower from yeah. the time. We'll get there. There's... 1591. Oh. Really? 1591. Yeah, this is Hispanic. Yeah, Hispanic. Do we get to go up? Hey, hey. Gonna touch something from 1591 and I'm gonna enjoy it because it's way older than myself. Yeah, this is the Second World War thing. Second World War? I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure we're gonna ask the guy. 1591 of Second World War? Alright, we're on a Kalisa. We got a nice collection here. Collection of Kalisa. Hey ho, go for a race. Hey ho, trying to get ahead. <laughs> Look at all of and it. And everybody is staring because it looks fun, as you can see. <laughs> Do a nice spin for you. You can see the brick that are through. What did you think so far? That was amazing. Yeah. I, I like went it because to of the end <laughs> antiqueness of it. It felt very, um, yo girl, move out of the way. <laughs> Seafood. Just, um, this is so relaxing. 